Hi guys, Jake here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to download and install SQL Express for Server 2012. So you're going to go to this website, which the link's below, and download the top one or the bottom one. The bottom one has um, your whole configuration thing. You only really need the top one. Management Studio. If you need the Management Studio, you download the bottom one. But download the version that you want. I'm downloading both because I'm using it for two different things. So I'm just killing two birds with one stone. But as you can see, it's going to take a fair while to download. So I will skip a little bit of this and we'll get back to it. So now it's fully downloaded. We're just going to run this one which is just the Express without the Management Studio and it will extract the files which takes a little second and then start the installer So we want to install a new server because this one isn't hasn't already got 2008 SQL on it. So we're just going to install a new instance. Now it runs through its little tests. So you can click here. As you can see, my computer needs or my server needs a restart. I think actually it's downloaded half installed updates. So if it fails anything, fix what it's failed before you install it. So yeah, it's downloaded updates, update and restart. I'll hit. Now this will probably take a bit, so I will speed it up. Now this is going at 1900% speed. So as you can see, it did take a little while to reboot. Now that's all done and you've rebooted your computer, if that's what you needed to do as well. Just open up your downloads folder. Just by clicking downloads there. And start this one. See the other one's the Management Studio one. As you can see it says SQL Management Studio. Now that will install SQL Server as well. So that's this same thing that I'm running now and also the management studio but I don't need the management studio at this point for what I'm doing so just run this and it'll do the same thing again it'll run through its checks and hopefully this time it will pass everything Now you want to do the same thing again, just ignore that server manager thing, it'll pop up eventually, it just takes a while to load while I'm doing other things. As you can see I can't stop it, it's just doing its thing. But anyway, we'll just have to ignore that. But hit new SQL server standalone installation, once again just like we did before. And it runs its check, show you the details to make sure they're all passed. And yep. <coughs> oh, sorry.
as you see, server manager just popped up behind there. I'll just close that quickly. Oh, no, it's still not loaded. So here we go. Now it'll check for updates. And checking for updates takes a really long time for some reason. So we're just going to stop it from checking for updates. But if you're doing this in real life, I would recommend updating it. You're always better off updating it. So as you see, it says it's cancelled updates, skipped all of that. And now it's just installing the setup files. So this will take a moment. So now we're up to the feature selection. I'm installing all the features. If you don't need some of the features, untick them. Otherwise, just leave them all there. You're better off leaving them all there. And this is where it's installed, as you see, just there. Under shared feature directory and the x86 parts are the parts that aren't 64-bit. So now you can name your instance if you want to give it a custom name if you're using this SQL for some reason in particular. But I'm just going to leave it like that and hit next. Service accounts, it'll make its own account that it needs. Now collation, sometimes when you're installing it for certain purposes, the product vendor will need it at a certain collation. That's where you set your collation if you need to. But I don't need to, so I'm going to hit next. <coughs> Windows authentication mode, that's just your administrator user for the SQL server, which mine's just my administrator of my server. Now you can tick this box here, if you want it to send error reports to Microsoft to report on whatever errors you're having or whatever but you don't need to tick it you can if you want to you don't have to if you want to send it it's not going to like the amount of bandwidth it uses it's not going to use much anymore it's not like you're on dial up or anything so now it's just doing its install
So that's basically it guys, once this is, gets to the end, that's the end of the installation, you've got your SQL Server installed on your server, SQL Server 2012. Don't forget, um, SQL Express does have a limit of 4 gigabytes of data, which is a fair bit, and you can, if you're going to, like, if you're not going to use it now, you might in the future, you can always buy SQL Server, the full version, later on, because it is quite dear. But yeah, and then you just upgrade it to that. So this is good for, like, smaller servers. <coughs> so anyway, guys, don't forget like and subscribe to see more videos. Um, if you want to see any different tutorials on anything in particular, let me know in the comments box. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.